Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSA net examination solution. Today we will discuss about partial differential equation based question. The three question we will discuss in this lecture three number IDs are 329, 330 and 415 with the help of shortcut tricks. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Kaur where finding the various shortcut tricks for the previous year examination papers. Else follow my telegram channel link. So let's start with these questions are there. Remember my simple uh, tricks as I discussed in my, my various videos that you have to read this statement more than 10 seconds. Remember there is always be a one minute time you can solve this question any of the question either in the ask in the CSR or in the gate examination. Don't solve remember don't solve each of the problems there is no way to get the answer within a one minute tricks. So what is my policies what is my funda in this solving the any of the examination paper is you have to read these options you have to read these options and the questions 10 seconds more as compared to their usual time then you will get the right answer within a fraction of second so let's start with this technique if you read this statement very carefully what is given to you second order pd whenever there is a second order pd then there is a one thing come in our mind that is a classification of the pd that is whether it's a hyperbolic, parabolic or elliptical that's the same thing they are asking. What is that? They are asking on the condition of the B and A and they are my real numbers. So it means if you can either you can consider B as a minus 3, A can be any of things. You can consider B as of say plus 3 or A can be anything. Now if I consider B as minus 3, if you consider about here then I can take A as say minus 1. Then clearly say that minus 3 less than of 2A. And if I consider here, then it will not satisfy. What is the meaning of that? Now you can see that without calculation, you will get the answer within a fraction of second. Both are my hyperbolic. So, but this condition satisfied here, this condition satisfied here, but at the same time, these two conditions are violated to each other. It means there is only one correct option. So that can never be true at the same time because both are hyperbolic. So once both are hyperbolic, so they can never satisfy uh, both the conditions for this example. We all know that for the parabolic, we always required as the equality conditions, but there is a less than sign are there. So this option is also cancelled out. The right answer is C. There is no need to solve the problem by here. So this is my first method. You have to read the statement 10 seconds more as compared to the normal time. Now what is the second method are there? You can try to solve it. So we all know that classification is b square minus 4ac. If it is 0, then we call as the parabolic. If it is less than 0, we call as the elliptical. If it is greater than 0, we call as hyperbolic. So if you consider about here, then it will be my b square minus 4a of a square. So clearly say that all are my less than signs. So when it will be less than 0, what is the meaning of that? It means mod of b is less than of mod of 2a so when it's a less than 0 what is the meaning of that it is my elliptical are there so what is the right answer of this again this is my right answer but there is no need to solve them parabolic we all know that there is always be equality form so that is cancel out these two conditions can never be happen at the same time because of the hyperbolic hyperbolic if it is a if it is say it's a elliptical and this is a hyperbolic then one of the condition you can violate it according to the rule are there so I hope you can learn both the methods. You can try to solve this in this other papers are there. Look at the next question are there. Again, you can read the statement 10 seconds more than of the usual time. What is given to you? This is my wave equations. Wave, this is the solution of the wave equation. And you have to check whether this is, is also the solution, also the solution, this is also, this is also and so on. This is only one correct options are here. If you look about this, first of all, this is the homogeneous, fine. And it is an even degree, fine. Now, remember this property for the wave equation. If this is the solution, then u of x minus a and t minus b is also the solution. For all a and b belongs to the real number this is the first property second rule is u of a x and b of t 
is also the solution provided there is one condition that provided a and b both are same so remember in this case it can be different or it can be same but in this case it is always be the same now look about the options are there your target is to find which one is a false x minus theta what is the theta is there theta is the fixed number so that means this is my constant either a theta like of the a and b belongs to r so x minus a t minus 0 is also that means this is also the solution this is my correct statement but we need a false statement ax by also solve the problem provided a is equal to b so this is not say because 3 is not equal to 9 so it means this is my false statement so this is my correct answer clearly say that this is my a this is my b both are same so this is also a solution this is my correct solution b and this is also the solution are there you can there is no need to solve because there is only one correct false option that is my c is the right answer again you can see you have to read this statement a very simple manner okay look about these uh, next question are there if u is the solution of this partial differential equation that is my partial derivative with respect to x plus x partial derivative with respect to y is my zero initial condition is there which of the following statements are true may we have more than one correct option so what is that first of all this is the pd what is the nature of this pd is pd is my linear pd so once it's a linear pd which things come in your mind that is my lagrange equation so what is the lagrange equation is dx dy and du so what is the value of the dx that is the coefficient of the this that is my one x this is my right hand side so if you solve these two what will happen du is my zero so you will get u as a c1 if you solve these two equations you can simply take here so what is the meaning of that x squared my x squared by 2 minus y is equal to c or you can consider as x squared minus 2y is equal to c2 so you have that these two solutions so i can write the solution in the form of here that means u is phi of x square minus of 2y where phi is any of the arbitrary function how you can find the value of the phi you can take this function u of x comma 0 is e raised to power x so we can substitute here that is y is my 0 you will get x square so now how you can find the value of the phi so if i take x square is say my t so what is my x x is my plus minus root of t so therefore what is that this is phi of t this equation becomes is e raised to power plus minus root of t so i can substitute this value here what is the right answer of this u function so that is e of plus minus x square minus 2y now once you get the value of the u you can now you can substitute here what is the u 2 comma 1 so it is e plus minus 4 minus of 2 plus minus of root 2 which is not equal to e square look about the second option e plus minus 1 minus 1 is e raised to power 0 that is a 1 is the right answer e raised to power plus minus 4 minus of 2 that is plus minus root 2 so minus is also satisfied here look about this one this is again this is the same thing so it's a plus so this is also the right answer so it means the right answers are b c and d D are my correct options. So this is the way you can solve this PD question in a very simple manner in your this examination. I hope you can simply learn the concepts. We will solve some real analysis question with the help of the same tricks that is with the help of the shortcut methods in our next lecture. Till then you can simply like, share and comment my these lectures with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.